Thank you for choosing COMEX North Call System. This video clip shows how to wire various devices of COMEX North Call System. COMEX North Call System has broadly been distributed throughout the world and recognized as one of the leading suppliers for its optimized functions and reliable quality. COMEX North Call System provides a one-stop communication solution for intelligent hospital system. It provides a simple one UTP cable connection method to enable and optimize the communication among emergency switches, present switches, shower room switches, and restroom switches, including corridor lights. JNSPSM is the main panel that controls the signal communication among all the nurse code devices and supplies power and also provides UPS feature in case of power failure. Janus 70MN is a North Coast station that is to be connected to Janus PSM to receive an emergency notice and to provide an interphone function to communicate with all bed consoles connected to Janus PSM. Janus 4CS is an interphone device that you use to page and talk with a North Coast station. CC200 is an extended call device to be connected to a bed console Janus 4CS that allows a patient to page a nurse call station while in bed. CL302C is a corridor light device to be connected to Janus 4CS that indicates emergency status by a visual signal lamp. ES420 is an emergency pager switch specifically designed for a shower room with its water resistant design and material. This device is to be connected to Janus 4CS. ES400 is an emergency pager switch for a restroom which is to be connected to Janus 4CS. PV500 is a present switch that is to be pressed by a nurse to indicate that a nurse is attending a patient at the location. This is to be connected to Janus 4CS. We are about to show you 8 video clips which will briefly explain how to wire the various devices of COMEX North School system. Please watch them in the order we present for better understanding of the wiring system. Please click the video clip number 2 to view how to connect a nurse call station device Janus 70MN and the main panel Janus PSM. We would like to show you how to connect Janus 70MN to Janus PSM. Please make sure the power of Janus PSM is off before connecting any devices. First, connect the 4-pin connector to CN17. Please connect the red wire from the 4-pin connector to the 24 volts terminal of Janus PSM. Please connect the blue wire from the 4-pin connector to the ground of Janus PSM. Now the wiring is completed as shown in the above. Please find the line terminal that is located on the back of a North School station Janus 70MN and connect the 6-pin connector. First, please connect the black wire from the 6-pin connector to the 24V terminal of Janus PSM. Please connect the brown wire from the 6-pin connector to the ground of Janus PSM.
Please connect the red wire from the 6-pin connector to the yellow wire from the 4-pin connector of CN17 on Janet's PSM. Please connect the orange wire from the 6-pin connector to the white wire from the 4-pin connector of CN17 on Janet's PSM. Now wiring a North School Station Janus 70MN with the main panel Janus PSM is completed as shown in the above. Please click the video clip number 3 to view how to connect a main panel Janus PSM and the bed console Janus 4CS. We would like to show you how to connect Janus 4CS to Janus PSM. Please connect the 4-pin connector to CN1 of bed console Janus 4CS. First, please connect the red wire from the 4-pin connector the 24 volts terminal of Janus PSM. Please connect the blue wire from the 4 pin connector to the ground of Janus PSM. Please connect the yellow wire from the 4 pin connector of CN1 to the yellow wire from the 4 pin connector of CN17 on Janus PSM. Please connect the white wire from the 4-pin connector of CN1 to the white wire from the 4-pin connector of CN17 on Janus PSM. Wiring a bed console Janus 4CS with the main panel Janus PSM is completed as shown in the above. Please click the video clip number 4 to view how to connect a bed console Janus 4CS with an emergency switch ES400 and a present switch PB500. I would like to show you how to connect an emergency switch ES400 and a present switch PB500 with a bed console Janus 4CS. First, please connect 3 pin connector to CN5 on Janus 4CS. Please use the red and blue wires from ES400 and PB500 to connect with Janus 4CS. Please connect the red wires from ES400 and PB500 to the red wire from the 3 pin connector of CN6 on Janus 4CS. Please connect the blue wire from ES400 to the blue wire from the 3 pin connector of CN6 on Janus 4CS. Please connect the blue wire from PB500 to the yellow wire from the 3 pin connector of CN6 on Janus 4CS. Now wiring ES400 and PB500 with a bed console Janus 4CS is completed as shown in the above. Please click the video clip number 5 to view how to connect a bed console Janus 4CS with an extended emergency call device CC200.
would like to show you how to connect an extended call device CC200 to a bed console JNS4CS. First, please connect CC200 connector to the connector located on the front of JNS4CS. Please turn clockwise to tighten the connector. Connecting CC200 is completed as shown in the above. Please click the video clip number 6 to view how to connect a bed console JNS4CS with an emergency pager ES420. Now we would like to show you how to connect ES420 to a bed console JNS4CS. First, please connect the 2-pin connector to CN8 located on JNS4CS. Please connect the red and blue wires from ES420 simply to the 2-pin connector from CN8 on JNS4CS. Wiring ES420 with a bed console JNS4CS is completed as shown in the above. Please click the video clip number 7 to view how to connect a bed console JNS4CS with a corridor light CL302C. I'd like to show you how to connect the corridor light CL302C to a bed console JNS4CS. First, please connect all four red wires from CL302C to the red wire from the 4-pin connector of CN5 on JNS4CS. Please connect the blue wire of red lamp of CL302C to the blue wire from the 4-pin connector of CN5 on JNS4CS. Now, please connect the blue wire of green lamp of CL302C to the yellow wire from the 4-pin connector of CN5 on JNS4CS. Wiring CL302C with a bed console JNS4CS is completed as shown in the above. Please click the video clip number 8 to view how to test the North Call system after wiring is completed. We would like to demonstrate how to run an initial test after wiring is completed. First, press the paging button located on a bed console JNS4CS. Please confirm the LED above the paging button on JNS4CS is on and the green lamp on CL302C is turned on and starts blinking. Please confirm the Janus 70MN displays FFFF room on the screen indicating a patient from the room FFFF is calling for a nurse. Please press the cancel button located on Janus 4CS and confirm the red LED with a single blink as paging is being cancelled. If the above process is conducted without any problems, you've done a great job with wiring. Let us check the vocal communication status between a nurse call station JNS70MN and a bed console JNS4CS by paging and talking. 
Next, press a button on CC200 to check its functionality of paging and calling a nurse call station. Please confirm the LED above the paging button on Janus 4 cs is on and the green lamp on CL302C starts blinking as the paging button on CC200 is being pressed. And now, please pick up the handset of Janus 70 mn to receive a call and talk to confirm the functionality of CC200. Now, please press the button on ES400 to check its functionality of emergency paging. As the button on ES400 is pressed, the green LED on ES400 is on, and red lamp of CL302C starts blinking. An emergency notice is to be displayed on the screen of JNS70MN. In this case, the system automatically blocks the call function and keeps the alarm sound on until a nurse attends the patient and press the present switch PB500. If the emergency paging button on ES400 is pressed once again, the green lamp on CL302C is on without blinking, which indicates a normal paging. As a nurse attends the patient, the present switch PB500 shall be pressed by the nurse to call off the emergency status. If an emergency is to be called again, after checking the status of the patient, please press the paging button on ES400. It is important to check the LED on PB500 is being on when you press the paging button on ES400. As the button on ES400 is pressed, the green LED on ES400 is turned on, and red lamp of CL302C starts blinking. An emergency notice is to be displayed on the screen of JNS70MN. To call off the emergency alarm, press the button on PB500 to turn off the presence lamp and press the paging button on ES400 to turn off the call. Now let us check ES420, an emergency paging switch for a shower room application for its functionality. As you pull the extension chain of ES420 to confirm the red lamp on CL302C starts blinking and an emergency notice is displayed on the screen of JNS70MN. Now the system automatically blocks the call function and keeps the alarm sound on until a nurse attends the patient and pulls the extension chain of ES420 from the location that the emergency call was triggered. All test procedures are completed. Please click the video clip number 9 to view how to register Janus 4 cs at the North School Station device Janus 70MN. This registration process shall be performed after the wiring of all devices is completed and tested properly. Press the paging button on Janus 4 cs On the display of Janus 70MN, there will be temporary bed number and room number displayed. Press the speaker phone button to receive the call. Press the remote control button at the lower right of the display. Press the change number tab to go into a standby mode. Enter the room number. Press the star key and enter the bed number.
press confirm button and then remote control button. Press speakerphone button to complete the registration. To check if the Janus 4CS is properly registered, simply press the paging button and confirm the bed and room number displayed on Janus 70MN is correct. Please repeat the above procedures to register all the Janus 4CS devices installed in patient rooms. We would like to thank you once again for choosing COMEX Nurse School System. If you have any questions or inquiries about COMEX Nurse School System, please contact your nearest COMEX dealer for assistance. Thank you.